No one got it for us. So that was one of them. The other thing, I was close to selling an Arctic cat on an electric kitty cat. I, had, I took one of those kitty cats, took the engine out, and put in an electric motor with some pretty damn heavy automobile batteries. And it worked. It really ran good, but it wasn't fast enough for them. And of course, at that time, the batteries were too heavy. You know, so we didn't, we didn't make that one either. But that was another ride. And uh, there, were, there were other uh, things along the way that we built. We built some uh, bike locks. Uh, we made a King King lock that worked on a uh, tractor trailer. Uh, avoided them from stealing trailers and we did some ashtrays and some other promotional items and I had a lot of requests for promotional items from other companies when we gave Bombardier that ashtray but you know it really wasn't our field and, and, and you know we did some of them just I did a product called Snow Sticks which was a it, it had it was just a drink mixer with all the emblems of all the smaller companies. We sold a lot of them. That's, uh, we probably should have done the scorpion. I was, I was still alive at that time. We didn't make it. Why weren't there still? Why weren't there still be time? <laughs> Why weren't there still be time? Oh, There's man. some of the scorpion ports. Please, yeah. all the slightly we want. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I read some rumbling from, I won't say much about this, but next, 2017 is the 50th anniversary of the Mustang and Norman Detroit. And there, there's some interest in Polaris wanting to redo the toy. And of course, I, I don't know where the molds are, but you know, there's about 80 grand worth right there. So I, you know, thought much about that. But it is the 50th anniversary coming up here. That's got a wealth of information on it. You can tell everybody right. how to find it. It's normattoys.com. We have all the pictures, all the history, all the production model numbers are in there. Uh, my grandson Brian developed it. It's really pretty good. And uh, he's going to be adding to the show now. He was here filming. Uh, I think he took a lot of pictures. This is his camera. That, that was the biggest collection of Normat toys ever assembled in any one place. It was unbelievable. We had all the trailers, the cutters, even the dolls, and you know, those, I don't have that many, I wish I did. And I've only got about 12, I burned up a few in the garage there. <laughs> but that was, it was awesome. And I really enjoyed talking to people that said they played them when they were kids, and they still got them, and you know, some of them, the parts had fallen off, and, Although I do sell windshields and, and uh, animal grips, I sold over 100 of them on eBay. Uh, I don't have any other uh, parts. Any other questions on that? If not, would you give them a big hand? Thank you.